Hey guys, so it's it's starting to be fall now, and we're getting into that transition uh, period, and the uh, the water's cooling down and everything. Uh, fall fishing can be a, one of the greatest times of year to catch fish, big fish, and numbers of fish too. It's one of my favorite times, but also that transition in between from summer to fall can be pretty rough fishing right there because we deal with the uh, lake turnover here, and uh, that. Until you understand how that works, it can be really frustrating at times. And uh, I know I've struggled the last two years with it. We caught fish, but we haven't caught the quality fish during that period. And so we've been studying on it and trying to learn everything we can on it so we can get better during that time of year. And uh, today I'm going to show you uh, just a little bit, a few tips and stuff on what you can do to help you. So during the uh, summertime period, as you can see here, zero to 12 foot deep right there that layer of water right there that contains a, a lot of oxygen and a lot of your sport fish will be in that uh, range of water right there uh, down here we have another section that's about 12 to 22 tw can be 24 foot somewhere right in there and somewhere in that little period right there is going to be your thermocline right there and below your thermocline we got what we call the dead zone down there now there's a lot of dead, uh, just organic matter and decaying stuff. And what it does in the summertime, it draws all the oxygen out of that. And so that's why we just call that the dead zone down there. So during the summer, typically, uh, most of your better fishing will be in these top two layers right here. All right, so going into the transition from summer to fall, uh, you're going to start seeing some uh, cold fronts come in. Uh, the, the air temperature is going to be cooler at night. It's a lot of cold fronts. And what that's going to do is that's going to lower your upper water temperature up here. And water temperature is, it, is, is heaviest at 39 degrees. So when that water gets down around 50 degrees, it becomes heavier. And that water, that top surface water up there, it's going to begin to sink and it's going to come down into this dead zone right here. And your cooler water, which is now warming up, is going to rise. And so you got to base, basically, this water's just going in a circle right here. It's turning over. And what that does is when that water comes down here into this dead zone, you got all that decaying matter, organic matter and stuff, all that nasty stuff down in here. It brings all that stuff up to the surface right there. And once all that uh, water that's down deep, that old decaying water, stinky stuff, once it starts coming up to the top, you're gonna see a, a brown tint to the lake. It's gonna look kind of like a, a coffee stain kind of color. Uh, it can produce a foul odor. Uh, some people say it smell like rotten eggs and stuff, but it'll just be a real distinct brown look to it. And uh, that's one of the first signs you, you notice is the color of the lake when it starts to turn over. And uh, one of the things we've done is we've struggled to catch these fish during this period. So I'm looking at things I can do different to try to stay on the fish better. So where do these fish go? Uh, we had a tournament this weekend, uh, the YouTube tournament. You guys probably, a lot of you probably saw that. Uh, the first hour and a half I opted to fish a a flat right off a ledge where it drops off the ledge where I've caught some bigger fish periodically during the year and we took a chance on starting out there and it probably cost me right there. Uh, we didn't get a bite. We left there, we went to the very back of, of a creek about as far back as you can go and the reason I went back there is because we had a, we had an influx of fresh water coming through. And when that fresh water is coming through it's more oxygen back there. Now it's not very deep, it's got a small channel that goes through it. It can be like 10 and 12 foot deep, but mostly it's like five and seven foot deep back there. But these fish have been in and out back there throughout the year, just because it's, it's cooler water and it's got plenty of oxygen in it. Uh, as soon as we got back here, we had two fish in the boat in like the first 10 minutes. So uh, where I screwed up was I should have went back here for the early morning bite and I probably got into some more fish. But uh, I will remember that next time. So hopefully this will give you just a little bit better understanding of the lake turnover, uh, how it happens and the process of it and uh, what you can do to be more efficient during this time period. Uh, the biggest 
thing I took away from it from what I've learned so far is just find the cleanest water and the uh, that has the most oxygen in it. And a lot of times, uh, just following the bait fish will show you that. Just find cleaner water, the clearest, best looking water you can find and where the bait fish are at. And that's usually a good place to start. So hopefully this helps you out. Uh, we'll have some more videos coming out hopefully this week. And uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you later.